Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to check your files and prepare them for exporting into the correct formats for the QNView print speaking to the blind service. Okay, let's get started. Now I've got Audacity open here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a test file, do a quick edit, do a fade in, do a fade out um, and then check the file and uh, noise reduce it if it needs, adjust the level um, and then export it into the two formats that the, we use for the QNView print speaking to the line service. Okay, so let's do a wee test recording. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the file deliberately noisy um, so that I've got some noise to extract because this microphone is actually quite quiet. But you might find that if you're using a, a laptop or um, um, another sort of USB microphone, they can be a bit more noisy. Um, and what we need to do is um, I need to give the, 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 the program some noise to deal with so that I can extract it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my phone uh, and I'm going to play some noise in the background when I do my recording. So you can hear that. Okay, so let's do a quick recording. This is a test recording to see if my audio levels are correct, correct. Okay. Now that we've recorded that, let's have a quick listen, play it back. This is a test recording to see if my audio levels are correct, correct. Okay, now... Um, I'm going to edit this mistake out. Uh, if you've watched the previous video, then I've already covered editing, the basics of editing, but I'll just go through it here quickly, um, just as a refresher. So if I drop the cursor just somewhere here so I can listen from this point, audio levels are correct, correct. Okay, right, I need to get rid of uh, this section here. So using the vertical selection tool, if I click and drag over this section, and I hit delete, and we'll play that back. Audio levels are correct. Okay, there's still a bit of a gap there, so I'm going to zoom in a bit. If I select the zoom tool and then left click to zoom in, we're going to shrink this gap a bit. So I go back to my vertical selection tool. The levels are correct. A little bit of a hesitation, so let's just select that and hit the delete button. The levels are correct. Okay, now that's cool. So we'll zoom back out again, hit the zoom tool and then right click to zoom back out. And if we go, want to go back to the start of the file, if we click the return to home button, this is a test recording to see if my audio levels are correct. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to check this file to see what the levels are like. And um, what we do is we use the ACX plugin that we installed um, back in the second video, I think it was. So if we go up, go to the selection tool and we select our file by double click on it so that it becomes highlighted. And then we hit analyze and go for ACX check. Now we can see here that it's failed because it's too quiet. Um, the noise floor has passed, but that that is only because the uh, the file itself is so quiet. Now, if we increase the level of the file, we, we increase the level of everything, which includes also the background noise as well. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to increase the, the level of the file. So double click on it to make sure it's highlighted. And if we go to effect, now what we're going to do is normalize it. So we're going to normalize it to zero dB and uh, make sure that remove DC offset is selected and normalize peak amplitude to zero and click on OK. Now you can see the level has jumped way up here. Now if we click on uh, the, the start of the file and let's have a listen. This is a test recording to see if my audio levels are correct. Now you can see there in the meter, uh, the playback meter, that the um, the uh, the level jumped way, way up, almost to the point of clipping at the, at the top there. Now if we click on this file again and click uh, ACX check. Now, the peak level is too high now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to chop the peaks off the top of this file. Um, so what we do is we go um, effect and we're going to go for, what are we, a limit, 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 limiter, there we go. Now, if we go to limiter and we go to limit to db and we type in minus three there and click OK. Now if we double click on that again and we click ACX check. Now the peak level is passed and the RMS level is passed as well but it's still too noisy. So having done our edits we've still got a bit of um, a gap at the end of the file here and what we can do is we can use that to tell um, Audacity uh, what what is noise uh, versus what is actual you know is audio is is, is vocal. So let's uh, play a little in that. The levels are correct. 
and you can hear that noise there. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on an empty section of the file where there's no um, speech, click and drag, and this is what we're going to tell Audacity to subtract from the file. So we go to Effect, and we go to Noise Reduction, and we're going to click on Get Noise Profile. So now we have told Audacity that this is the noise we want to extract from the file. Now if we double click on the file to select the whole thing, now we're telling Audacity that we want to um, remove that um, background noise from the whole file. Um, so if you, were to, if you were to leave this like this and then use the noise reduction, it would only extract the noise from, from this section that's highlighted. So if we double click here, select the whole file, and we go back to um, noise reduction again, and we click on OK. Now, you can see that this um, uh, the, the little um, bits of the waveform have uh, seem to have disappeared. Let's play that back, have a quick listen. This is a test recording to see if my audio levels are correct. Now that uh, noise is, is reduced substantially. So again, if we double click on this, and we click on Analyze, ACX Check. Um, so the peak level is still a little bit too high. So let's, uh, we'll just do the, 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 the limit again. So double click on the file. Um, effect, and we go to limiter, where are we, uh, limiter, 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 and we're just going to click, leave that at minus three, click on it again, and we're going to check the file again, analyze. Okay, all good. So the peak level has passed, the RMS level, which is your average level, has passed, and the noise floor has passed. Okay, now we've done that, we can trim the ends of our file. So if we click on here and drag out to the end, we're going to click on delete, so let's delete that. And we'll tidy up the start of it as well. So we go back to the start, press play. This is it. I'm going to take that little breath noise out. So click at the start and drag forward, hit delete. This is a test recording to see if my audio levels are correct. Okay, now I'm going to make a little fade out here again, like we did in the last video, just to tidy it up. So if we zoom in again, so click the zoom tool, left click to zoom, um, and right click to zoom out. And we'll just select uh, this part of the audio. So if you, if, as you drag, you'll see that it wants to snap to the end of the bar there, end of the um, item there. So the little yellow um, uh, highlight comes up. Um, once we've done that, if we go to Effect, and we'll go to Adjustable Fade, and we're going to do Fade Down, and click OK. Now we could listen to the end of that, or correct. OK, and we'll do the same at the start. Let's scroll back to the start. Oops, uh, scroll back to the start. And we'll click and drag to the start of the file. Effect, um, Adjustable Fade, and we're going to Fade Up at the start. Click OK back to zero, press play. This is a test recording to see if my audio levels are correct. This is a Okay, now let's zoom out again. Okay, now we're going to export this into the two formats that Q and View use for their different services. So what we're going to do is you can either double click on the single item that's here. So this will set up the left and right markers here. Now, if you've got multiple files in the in the project, in fact, let me demonstrate that. Let's just do a little, uh, if I do another, uh, say I've done my article in sections, and if I go, this is an additional test to check my audio levels are correct. So now that we've got um, our uh, sections all recorded together, we want to export everything that we have on our timeline here. So if I double click on this, then as you can see, this is this becomes highlighted. And if I were to export from, from this, then this is all that would be exported. Same if I were to double click on here. Now, just what's within the, the boundaries of the selection would be exported. So I want to export everything that's on the timeline. So I'm gonna take my vertical selection tool and I'm gonna click and drag over absolutely everything. And then I'm going to go to File, Export Selected Audio. Now, there are two file formats which uh, Q and View use for their services. Uh, one is WAV and one is MP3. So let's do the MP3 first. So we'll go to MP3. Now we're going to give this a title. Now with Q and View, we ask that you title the, the 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 name of the file with the name of the article that you're working on. So we'll call this um, a big news on the front. Uh, excuse me, uh, front page today. Okay, and I'm just going to copy that so I don't have to type it again. OK, 
Okay, and we make this an MP3 file, um, make this insane quality, and the video speed is standard, and we're going to force the ex this export to mono, so make sure that that's selected, and we click on save. Um, we just ignore this for now, and that's it. Now if we go to file, um, we're going to export the second format, which is a WAV file, so we go to export again, selected audio again, and we go for the drop down and we click on WAV Microsoft. Now we're going to paste that title back in here again. So paste in there, big news on the front page of the day, dot WAV. And make sure it's a WAV and then it's assigned 16-bit PCM file. Okay, and we're going to click on save. Uh, ignore that again. Now, once you've exported your files, if you go to um, your documents here. Audacity will have created a folder when it installs in your documents and all your exported files go into this folder. Um, so if we click on there, there's our two files, um, mp3 and WAV, ready to be uploaded. <clears throat> so that pretty much covers it, the process of checking your files and preparing them for exporting into the correct formats for the Queue and View Print Speaking to the Line service. In the next video, I'll show you how and where to upload the two different file types. Okay, thanks for watching.